Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you this real quick because it's just too interesting to pass up on the SVEA, SVEA, all in capital letters, server. We're down looking for a fishing pole again, of course. You guys know I won't live without one. We're down on that island where I get a fishing pole by Kami Shovo. But they added a bunch of stuff in here. You still have the original house, the original boat dock that is there. I just found a fishing boat over here and I pulled two uncooked sea bass out of it and I'm low on blood from a mission so that's good so this is what the uh, boats look like before you replace the engine they're all gray bullet holes but once you replace the only replaceable part the engine then they're uh, um, They'll come with a new paint job. So what admin added in down here is the nickname of the Numele or Numele. Numele, I think is how you pronounce it, Swamp. So they added in all this fog down here. They added in, I don't know how many trees, tons and tons of trees. Two military barracks, which you can look for military gear. And the palace down here, which was used to be, I think the proper name of it is called Sheikh Zobeda's compound. It's just, looks out of place, but it's just an inter interesting place down here if you go upstairs. La Revolution. Uh, so I guess there is a little bit of loot in here. But I did find food. Those sea bass are very important because I just got down to low blood. I patched myself up. I fought again. Almost got killed. Should have died. Should have died. But, um... I got my um, blood all the way down to uh, 671 before I could get a bandage on myself. Let's go to the upper level here and take a look around. Once you're up above that fog, it isn't bad. Um, big enough spot over there on that side to land a helicopter. So you could have a helicopter here at this compound. Most admin wouldn't mind that as long as you don't interfere with the loot that someone else can get. You can't block it up. On here, they kind of do. There's been, I saw some that um, they just walled off the entire uh, Northwest Annex. But it depends on what they let you do. You can always ask. It never hurts to ask. So just thought I'd show you something interesting down here. You can run to the other side. So the addition of the fog. A bunch of extra trees. The palace. And two military barracks down here. Pick something up off that zombie. I don't know what it was. Bandage, maybe. This little guard shack. So it really is truly like a uh, a terrorist um, compound. They got their own guard shack, their own military base, or military barracks for their guys to sleep in. The armed guards for the palace, based down in a swamp, hidden out of the way. The sun's just come out now and it's still raining, but you can see the military barracks here. It's so really thick. They did this on their own. It's something they come up with. They're being re real creative, and I like it. That's one of the reasons I'm attracted to this server is the... Uh, 
the ingenuity. Oh, there's a tent. What's a tent? Is that tent for us? Is that tent for... Um, no, nah, that's a private person's tent. I'm not taking any of that. Why they set it up right there, everybody and their brother is going to see it. So, the fog is persistent here. It's always here. I gotta find my way back to the boathouse. Oh, that scared me. The one thing I was worried about is if there were uh, AI down here or not. Stuff is despawning pretty quickly here. So this is the Numele Swamp. Up north, they have near Prude Lake, above Story Sobor, Novi Sobor, and all that. They have um, a huge, massive cave system there that you can go down into caves and um, root around. You could be lost for an hour down in there. So I didn't see any fishing poles. I looked up top there, but here's your gear. Those are chem lights. They're just stuck floating in the air, if you can get a better look of them there. So that tells me there's loot here, so you just got to come back out and check above your head. Make sure there's no floating gear. Sorry for moving the camera so fast. I'm used to being by myself and just moving the camera pretty fast. I tried to make a base out of one of these boat docks one time and it just, I could not figure it out for the life of me. It's hard to get a lockable base down here. So I'll head back to the mission. I'm going to use this little boat. Go have some fun at the mission. It's the nuclear power plant, which is an interesting new mission and um, different type of mission. See, we got any gas. Ooh, little. Up. Oh. Screwed up. I should have just kept backing up so I could show you what this is like. And of course, you have your speed and your compass heading on a boat. So when I got very low on blood from that mission down to 671, you're in the danger of passing out. You don't want to pass out around any AI or zombies. So I had to run and then go kill. I killed two chickens and a sheep, cooked the food right away and it got me back up to 8,000 blood. And I'll cook and save these sea bass for later. But I just wanted to show you that swamp. And as you can see right now, the fog doesn't render in until you get right there. But I really can't blame someone for having a um, tent or a stash there. Oh, we're beaching the boat. We're grounding in a little bit of shallow water. But, um... Because people are just going to go down to the, uh, there's another fishing boat right there that's beached on the shore. You can put that back in the water, but you got to gently bump it with a car. They're a nice big fat cow for me too. I'm leave this out here. And a chicken. Alright, just wanted to show you that real quick. The old gray boat, some people don't put um, brand new engines in it because uh, these are real easy to hide in among those gray rocks and everything because it, it's almost like it has its own camouflage. So I'm going to get my strength back up, go visit the mission, and just it's just over an electro at the power plant. Pop back and forth between the mission 
and fishing pole. Is a fishing pole is just the fastest way. I think it even beats blood bags myself. Uh, I think it's faster and easier just to um, build a fire, kill something, find some animals, and um, rather than worry about um, transfusion kits and all blood bags and having the right type of blood and then testing your blood and all that, just go fishing. It's easier. All right. See you later. So now let's take another look here. There's our herb box over there. Nothing. Just nothing. Nothing over there. Nothing here. Just one herb box. But I did find something very interesting. Our chem lights are still there. And now our fishing pole is there too. So the only way I know to get that, at least I know they're spawning here. So if I can't get to it, I can't get to it. But I'm going to try my best. Oh, thank heaven above. I'm just going to take these just for the heck of it. Clear them out of the air like that. So this spawn point, when they put it in, they tried to put it on the floor and it popped up in the air. So that's why I was telling you, you have to be able to look up into the air on this stuff. Because sometimes you'll have floating fires in the middle of nowhere drop off there and uh, sometimes there was a floating tree the other day I saw I didn't get it on videotape though so for me that's the biggest find in the game besides night vision for me the most helpful thing now I head back up north any pond the pond south of Ibor I can just start fishing and stockpile some uh, fish. I want to get about 10 minutes to restart, so it looks like a couple guys finished up a mission just in time. They'll have 10 minutes to loot. do anything else with that boat I need to have uh, fuel for it I went into Komarova over here but while I was killing and um, getting ready to cook a cow I was just gutting it I heard some um, Henry rifle shots or pistol shots and um, when I ran over in town and stood behind a fence I was just patient and just waited for about two minutes and four AI come running through there which would be pretty much outgunned in tight quarters when they're together they're okay but when they're split up they can be really dangerous so I just it's hard for me but I just let them go so we got restart in 15 minutes so I'd like to get off this island But I really don't want to run into those AI that are patrolling that town because I'm not sure how far they patrol. There's med tents over there. Another boat. So I really don't want to get killed and have to scramble for my gear, especially now that there's only 15 minutes left to restart. So I want to stay up. I won't have time to get over here and get all my gear back. I got way too much gear. Too much, too valuable for me now. I saw a DMR, about 80 rounds left for the DMR, 400 rounds left for the saw. I'm not taking a chance. I don't know if they come over to this island or not, but I just don't want to take the chance. 
So I'm just going to wait for restart and pop back in. Maybe if I get lucky, I can catch my second fishing pole. I found three in a day, and I found two at the same time spawning in. And there they are. I knew it. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over. This is how you switch over for the backpack. You have to move your gun into your hands, holding. Then you have to open up your unzip your backpack and move the DMR into your hands then it automatically moves the saw over so I saw them right on the right here they were running from right to left I'm not gonna shoot at them I can't afford to catch a stray bullet now I've done it too many times in the past to make that mistake again. So now I know a little bit more about their routine. They went from the... Um, I first saw them below those rocks. They ran up around that hill. I lost sight of them. And now they're back down here on the other side of the docks, and they just went behind that house. So I'm starting to learn their limits of their range, because it's all set by waypoints. So where do they go and where they do not go? And I just want to know for a fact whether they come to the island or not. So that would be very helpful um, piece of information to tuck away for later. In case I have to come down and get another fish pole. The two best tools or weapons in the game are observation and information. The more you observe, the more information you get. The more information you have, the greater chance of success in the game. So I lost sight of them, so I'm just going to wait. Got to wait for restart anyway. Double check here. I got binoculars on me. Don't have uh, range finders yet. So I don't even want to start a gunfight with these guys unless I really have to. I got too much important stuff to do. That's it. Nap time. Oh, stretch out on the beach. Come back and do a little fishing. See you later. Another quick note about being in the rain, as you can see right now, I'm down in Comorovo, standing out in the rain, and you can see on the right-hand side, see the three chevrons pointing down on the thermometer. It means I'm losing heat very quickly, as fast as you could go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside. Now, if I can get this position right where you can see it. Now there's only two chevrons going down. Now, if I'm just walking, my body temperature is actually going up. It's at night. It's in the rain. So Body temperature is going down again. Now it's going up. So this is one of the tricks to warming your body temperature up. You just got to keep running. Uh, it looks towards the outer walls that are metal. It doesn't want to go up as fast as it does some places 
if I stop running, it doesn't go up quite as much. Now it's still going up a little bit if I stand in this corner. If I stand down by the metal doors, it's going down, two chevrons down. It's a little bit uneven heat in here. Now it's one chevron going up. Now it's two chevrons down. Dropping. Run back to this corner. We'll wait on it for a second here. One chevron up. Now you have two chevrons up. And in some buildings, this is what you have to do to get he Put your character's nose in the corner and make them run, 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 run. That's one way to bring your body temperature up when you're cold and you, if you don't have firewood. Versus going outside and being in the rain, you got three chevrons down and you're going to lose it just as quickly as if you're almost swimming. So that was three chevrons down. Now we got one chevron up. And I don't know if the one chevron up is because of these lights they put in here. They got street lights on some servers. This was the addition they put in. And it doesn't um, doesn't light up the whole town, but it does make it kind of nice. Where you can see where you're at a little bit. I have the brightness and the gamma turned up all the way. Now another thing that I've been watching because I just logged back online is the moon. Big moon tonight. Harvest moon. Different than other nights. It's not on a nightly schedule so to speak. It's almost like on a monthly schedule. That's what we would call at home a harvest moon. A big round moon. and It's kind of yellowish or a slight very slight orange tint instead of white. But the color of the moon is not what I'm worried about. What I'm concentrating on is the fact that I'm down here by the shore and that um, moon isn't up all the way. It used to be, but it wasn't. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. Just as you have sunrise and sunset, you have moonrise and moonset. That moon is starting to set because it should be a little higher in the sky, about right up there where the cursor is. So about two hours before um, sunup, it starts to set. And you can almost sit here and watch the sun setting or the moon setting. It seems like it's a little further down now. It's almost halfway. So I'll check that in a little bit and see if the... Um, the moon is actually setting and um, that'll tell me sunups right around the corner so I don't have to ask anybody or log back in or anything like that wait a half an hour or whatever it'll be here so I want to start moving north I want to wait for sunup and I want to do that in the daylight if I can So I don't want to venture too far into town because of these AI down here. But I'm hoping this shows up on your screen a little bit. But every town is lit up like this. Even some of these sheds look like they have an old light bulb in them. They're kind of an orangish glow. Barns. It just helps you out with that. And it's not on every server. It was in a, the last, I believe these were in the, one of the, um, not the final update that they gave, but um, 
the one before that, and it might even be admin that came up with it on their own. Because you can actually add these street lights in, and I don't have a regular map to see whether they um, this street light was already here and it's just lit, or they're added in. I can't remember off the original map. But for every town, it really helps out. So that's it for now. One more check on my fishing pole. Keep an eye on the moon. And then as soon as sunup comes, I'm going to head north. I just don't want to head north with all the AI in there. Because they have roaming AI on here. And um, they could show up at any time. So I'll check back in with you later.